Rapper Snoop Dogg does a music video where he basically assassinates a sitting president. There's really no question about that. And anti-gun groups Moms Demand Action, who have praised Snoop for his stance on guns before, all of a sudden we hear from them crickets. Crickets. Well, these are the, that's the same people, Bill, the Moms Demand group. This is the same group that loved them some Leland Yee. I believe he's out in your area, right? Y'all remember Leland Yee? He's the infamous gun runner uh -huh. who was celebrated by Moms Demand Action. Uh, now he's going to jail. Uh, and this is also the same group that loved them some Eric Holder, who went and gave a bunch of guns to all of these Mexican drug cartels uh, in Fast and Furious. And, of course, they didn't track any of them, which was incredibly different from Operation Wide Receiver, which I also dislike. But Fast and Furious was... It just absolutely different and also unbelievably more ridiculously of a fail. But this situation with Snoop Dogg, didn't he shoot somebody in the back? And this was like after, and then even after that, moms demand, like, we love us some Snoop Dogg because no, nothing says hip like a bunch of, you know, white, high-waisted, acid-washed, jean-wearing, boxed wine drinking, frenzy 11 women who shop at Kohl's who go out and say, we're hip with the kids. We love us some Snoop Lion. I mean, that's exactly <laughs> like that Steve Buscemi meme where he goes out there with his hat on backwards and he's like, hi, do fellow kids. It's exactly what the mom's demand thing is. I've never seen any, any, any group try desperately so badly to cling to any bit of relevancy or hipness. No, I mean, the guy, he's funny, but he's a gangbanger. And maybe he's reformed, but he's the last person that I would hold up as some example of gun control for crying out loud he made his name for street violence 